everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today, I want you to get a free audio book. It's a gift from my sponsor. I'll tell you how to get that free gift at the end of the video. Today's expression is very good. Pedaling. Pedaling. He is pedaling something. She is pedaling something. Now, if you look up the word pedal, you might see a bicycle to pedal your bicycle, but no, 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 no. Another idea to pedal to sell something. So a peddler, the image of a peddler would be a, a poor guy who's selling shoes, used shoes, or, or something like that. Just a guy who sells something. However, what if I said Al Gore? You know Al Gore? This is Al Gore. Famous guy, right? Al Gore is peddling global carbon tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Al Gore is peddling global carbon tax. That means he's selling global carbon tax, but you can't sell a tax. Aha! He is pushing, he is promoting. He is encouraging. He is trying to gather support. He's trying to create, he's trying to start this initiative for a global carbon tax. That's what he's doing. He's peddling this global carbon tax so that they can get the money and, you know, do clean energy stuff and hopefully save the world. That's his idea. He believes that humans are the reason for global warming. Okay, now I'm not choosing I'm not choosing one side or the other, but I do absolutely agree that humans and it starts with you and me, we need to do something to help mother nature. You know, I'm not going to do any damage to the earth, but all of us together might be able to do some damage. And I've seen some dirty lakes, some dirty parks, some dirty areas, and humans are doing, let's clean it up, let's clean it. Right now, I'm peddling responsibility, environmental responsibility. I'm pushing, I'm promoting environmental responsibility. I'm peddling environmental responsibility. Al Gore is peddling global carbon tax. Barack Obama is peddling Obamacare. He's trying to sell, and it's finished, but he's trying to sell the United States on his health insurance plan. Michelle Obama is peddling healthy lunches at schools. Okay? So, just because you're peddling something doesn't mean it's good. It could be bad. Many people might disagree. But the idea is you are promoting something. You are pushing something. You're selling something, not necessarily for money, but for support. So what about you? Do you peddle anything? Let's check out a dialogue. Is that Coach Shane? Yep. He's still peddling that DDM and perf stuff. Huh, he should. They're second to none. Really? Aw, oh, everybody who joins stays and loves them. That's right. Um, I make these free videos on, you know, videos and podcasts. I do lots of free stuff. But at the same time, I pedal two classes, DDM and PERF. They're, those are my classes that I've developed for you. And they're really good. The students who take the classes love the classes. They stay. They don't go. They keep following. They say, more, give me more, give me more. Yeah. DDM. Brilliant class for listening and pronunciation and cultural skills. Perf, the best class to learn how to speak, pronunciation, linking, intonation, rhythm, flow, all that stuff. DDM and Perf are great classes. If you are not a student now, what's the problem? I'm, I'm here to tell you they're excellent and I'll give them to you free. If you want the classes, I'll give you some free classes. DDM, a month. Eight classes for free. Okay? Just go here. Yeah, I'm pedaling hard now. Perf, I'll give you three free perf classes. Just send me an email right here. Yep, send me an email. 
and say, say, free lessons, and I'll send you three lessons, and then you can decide. They're great classes, and they're free. And why am I pedaling? I'm pedaling for two reasons. Number one, because I, I really do want to help you master English, and I know these classes are good. So I want to help you, so I'm pedaling. And number two, it's my job. I need to pay the bills, and I need your help by being a student. That's, that's a great, that's the best help in the world. It's my honor to be your English coach. So I'm pedaling right now. And right now, I am pedaling and maybe I'll make some money. But once again, it's not always about making money. Usually though, it is. I'm sure there are some benefits somewhere for everybody who pedals something. And usually those benefits are finance. If anybody in politics is peddling something, you can be sure that if he's not getting money, his cousin's getting money, his friend's getting, somebody's getting money. Almost always. That's politics. That's politics. Unless your country is perfectly clean. You live in a great place if that's true. So what about you? What do you peddle? Do you have a philosophy that you peddle? Do you have a belief? Maybe a religious belief, an environmental belief. What about global warming? Do you think man has, is destroying the earth? Or do you think it's natural? Which philosophy, which belief are you peddling? Are you pushing? Are you promoting? Maybe you don't know. Maybe there's something else. What do you think about smoking? Are you actively peddling against people who smoke? Oh, you shouldn't smoke, it's really bad. Whatever, you can peddle anything. If you have a really strong belief and you're trying to promote, you're trying to spread, you're trying to gain acceptance for your belief, you're peddling. Every time you talk about it, you're peddling, okay? Be careful of those peddling politicians. Let's check out that dialogue a couple more times and be sure to have a practice partner. Who's your partner? Leave a message down below. Is that Coach Shane? Yep. He's still peddling that DDM and perf stuff. Huh, he should. They're second to none. Really? Aw, oh, everybody who joins stays and loves them. Is that Coach Shane? Yep. He's still peddling that DDM and perf stuff. Huh, he should. They're second to none. Really? Aw. Oh, Everybody who joins stays and loves them. Is that Coach Shane? Yep. He's still peddling that DDM and perf stuff. Huh, he should. They're second to none. Really? Aw, oh, everybody who joins stays and loves them. Like I said, you can get a free audio book if you go here. This is the website. Sign up. And uh, it's fantastic. It's, it's from Amazon, the big company. They're sponsoring uh, my podcast, my videos. It's my honor. Um, we have a book club, and this month's book is this. It's called Wonder, and it's really an amazing, magical book. It's about a little boy, I'm guessing 11 years old. I think he's 11. His name is August. August. Um, we call him Augie. And he was born, but his face, when he was born, his face had lots and lots of problems. So he had, you know, surgeries to fix his face, but his face is uh, not easy to look at. And Augie, his age, by his age, he should be in fifth grade elementary school. And this book describes Augie's first year of school and describes the reaction of the students, of the teachers, of other students' parents, of his parents, of him. It's really, it's really a great story. Uh, I think many people who listen to the story or read the story uh, probably cry. Um, and right now I'm about two-thirds done, almost done. We have a book club that discusses 
uh, all the issues and everything. Every week we get together, almost every week, uh, these days it's been every week, every Thursday, we get together and discuss the book. And this week, tomorrow actually, one of the discussion questions, we have three discussion questions tomorrow, and one of the discussion questions is, did you ever have a pet, a dog, a cat, a bird, a turtle, a bunny, something, and when you were a kid, and did it die? And do you remember that situation? And what this, this happened in the story, and it's actually, this is the part that actually kind of made me cry. Because um, the, the dog loved Augie. And what's cool about dogs is, do dogs care if you're handsome or beautiful or ugly or normal? Do dogs care if your teeth are weird or if you wear glasses or if your hair is dirty? Do dogs care if you smell or if you smell good? Do dogs care if you're blind or can't hear or if you have only one arm or, or three fingers? Do dogs care about any of that? No. If you are nice to the dog, the dog will love you. So in America, we have the expression, a dog is a man's best friend. Do you have a similar expression? Probably, I'm, I'm guessing. It's true. And that dog was Augie's best friend. And it had been Augie's friend since Augie was a baby. And, uh, and the dog never cared about Augie's face. Never. And then the dog died. And it was really a uh, very sad situation. Uh, that's just one of the tiny stories in this great book. The book is called Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Uh, very lovely book. Now, uh, so when you, if you go, if you want to get this free book, isn't that fantastic? Um, once again, go to this place. It's a sponsored site, okay? So they are my sponsor. Um, you can choose this book. Or you can choose a different book. It doesn't matter. Now, I will tell you, uh, this book for our book club, we're going to study it probably two more weeks. And then we're going to change to a different book. Okay, so basically every month uh, we change books. Um, the last book we had was The Alchemist. Oh, another excellent book. This book, once again, wonder. And I haven't exactly decided on the next book. I need to make a decision pretty quick. Um, but yeah, that's coming up. So audiobooks are great. They're an excellent way to work on your English listening skills, your comprehension. Um, and I, I highly recommend it. So if you're interested in getting a free audiobook, then this is the place to do it. Uh, go through me. Keep this link. And if you have a friend who's interested, maybe a, a, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, your mom, your dad, if they're studying English or if they're good at English and they would like audio books, then please give them this link. Uh, it's a good Christmas present, right? Now, what happens, let me tell you. So you go here, you sign up, you choose a book. It's absolutely for free. Um, if you don't like it, you can cancel. Uh, but... Most people stay, and, I, and I, I don't want you to not be serious, okay? So if you're, if you're just kind of, oh, a free book, yeah, don't do it. If you're serious about the English and English listening, and you like books, then do it. Now, what happens if you don't cancel your membership, one month later, at the end of one month, they're going to charge you $14.95. That's really cheap. Okay, and that is a membership fee. It's a one month membership fee, and that allows you to get any book, any audio book for that price. So, for example, I'm uh, a member, okay, and this month I chose Wonder. Now, Wonder, that book actually costs $20, but I paid my $14.95 members, $0.95 membership so I can get that book, a $5 discount. That's great. 
So in the long run, if you like audiobooks, the membership absolutely will send will save you lots of money. It could be lots of money. Some audiobooks are like $30, okay? It depends on what you want. But once again, it's great. Very convenient. And, uh, well, if you're thinking about it, do it. Do it through this link. And that's it. All right. Boy, I'm peddling a lot of stuff today. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. It's a free book. All right, that's it, you guys. Have a fantastic day, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.